Now coming to the writing of molecular orbital diagram for oxygen and oxygen ions. So let's start with that. So first of all, you have to follow which order I'm going to call in here. So as I said, oxygen is very special. So SP for the problems, for the bigger problems. So we need to follow this order. P stands for pi and S stands for sigma. Now filling the electrons. So for oxygen molecule, we are having 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 electrons in total. So I need to fill the 16 electrons in these molecular orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So here how you are going to write the electronic configuration. So sigma 1s and 2 electrons are there. Now sigma star 1s, 2 electrons. Sigma 2s, 2 electrons and sigma star 2s, 2 electrons. Here what about this? So here we are having sigma 2p x 2 electrons pi 2p y is equal to pi 2p g and 2 electrons each. Now coming to the pi star 2p y is equal to pi 2p g and 1 1 electrons each. So this is the electronic configuration how you are going to write this in the increasing order of energy. Now the electronic configuration. So the electronic configuration of oxygen molecule can be written like this. So here I am showing you again coming to the magnetic properties. So here what I have shown here I have shown two unpaired electrons. So two unpaired electrons like this and this. So these are counted as unpaired electrons. You cannot say I am having two unpaired electrons, so they will get paired. This is incorrect, totally incorrect. So two unpaired electrons are there. Therefore, it is paramagnetic in nature, right? This is paramagnetic in nature. Since it is having two unpaired electrons. Now coming to the next. If I am writing for oxygen minus molecule, O2 minus, then I am going to explain O2 minus. So how this O2 minus we will comprise oxygen 8 plus oxygen 9. 9 means this is 8 but it is having an additional electron. So we are having 9 electrons in this. 9 electrons, right? So 1, here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This black shows that it is from outside, right? So 9 electrons are there in the O minus. So one electron, minus means one electron coming from outside. So in total if we count 8 plus 9 is equal to 17 electrons. So 17 electrons I need to fill in this O2 minus molecule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So here in this case we are having one unpaired electron. So this is paramagnetic in nature and how to write its electronic configuration in the same way. This is sigma, this is sigma star, sigma, sigma star, sigma. This is formed by 2px and it is having two electrons. So in this manner again pi, pi, pi star and pi star. So this is the how you are going to write down the electronic configuration. Now Coming to the O2 plus, if I am asking you to write down the electronic configuration for O2 plus, what does it mean and how it will form? So you simply write down O plus O. Now if minus is there, add one electron. If plus is there, subtract one electron, right? So one, if plus is there, so subtract one electron. If minus is there, so add that many number of electrons. Sometimes we are having O2 minus. So O2 minus minus. So what does it mean? We are having O minus and O minus. On adding these, so one electron will come from outside. So 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1. So how many electrons are there? So total 18 electrons are there in this case. 
I am leaving it to you O2 plus right so how many electrons are there 8 plus 7 electrons so total 15 electrons are there now you need to fill the 15 electrons for O2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then 15 so it is having one unpaired electron therefore it is again paramagnetic so all three species O2 O2 plus O2 minus all three are paramagnetic right this magnetic character is very interesting for oxygen so you hear this magnetic field so if we are pouring our oxygen then you see the cloudiness because the oxygen molecules are stuck over here in between this magnetic field as these are paramagnetic in nature they are attractive in applied external magnetic field so this is very interesting here we are having the antibonding molecular orbitals and these are five antibonding molecular orbitals so these are formed by the combination of 2py and there since it is antibonding therefore it is star and number of electron is 1. Now, this is equal in energy to 2pz pi orbital and it is anti-bonding since therefore I have kept over here star and number of electrons are 1 in this case. The sigma star which is formed by the combination of 2px orbitals it is having no electron so I have written no electron over here it is empty. If it is given in your question paper that you just write down the electronic configuration for O2, O2 plus or O2 minus. Then what you have to do? You just simply draw the molecular orbital diagram for O2. Not for the ions, right? First point. Once you draw the molecular orbital diagram, then while drawing the O2 plus or O2 minus, you just write down that it is having one electron less, number of electrons. Number of electrons in O2 plus equal to 15 and now you can write down its electronic configuration directly no need to draw the molecular orbital diagram for O2 plus similarly for this you can write down the number of electrons present in O2 minus is equal to 17 one electron extra to the O2 and O2 is having 16 electrons so simply you just write down in this manner and do not draw again and again the O2, O2 plus, O2 minus molecular orbital diagrams. You just simply write down the electronic configuration for O2 minus, electronic configuration for O2 minus. So what you need to do, you need to simply do this having two electrons and this again have one electron. That is the electronic configuration. If suppose I want to ask you, write down the electronic configuration of O2 plus. Remove one electron from here and we are having one electron only. Now the writing of electronic configuration. So it is having zero and this is having one electron. That is the electronic configuration for O2 plus. This is all about the writing of electronic configuration. Now coming to the next point which is bond order so what is called bond order bond order is 1 by 2 number of electrons present in the bonding molecular orbitals number of electrons in the anti-bonding molecular orbitals here i am just showing you the bond order for o2 minus so for o2 minus we are having 1 by 2 number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital so first electrons in the bonding molecular orbital are 10 so here i have written 10 electrons these are in green right now coming to the next antibonding molecular orbital. So electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbital are this is 2 plus 2, 4 and we are having 3, right? So 7, I have written 7. So on subtraction I am getting 3 by 2 and this gives me 1.5 value for bond order for O2 minus. Now the next one. Next one is O2 only. So O2 in the bonding molecular orbital we are having same number of electrons. In anti-bonding molecular orbital we are having 5 electrons are there. On subtraction I will get 5 by 2 and this gives me 2.5. Bond order means oxygen is having O double bond O. And it is represented this is half bond and this is represented 
two and then half mod, right? So this is how you can represent. Now coming to the next. So here I am showing you bond length, bond order, and bond strength, bond order. How these are related? So bond length is related inversely related to the bond order, whereas bond strength is directly proportional to the bond order. Here I have written the bond order. This is having more bond order as compared to O2. Therefore, it is more closely attached. They are more close to each other. And in that case, if they are more closer, means having less bond length. So O2 plus is having less bond length as compared to the O2. And this is again having less bond order as compared to the O2. So O2 minus is having longer bond length as compared to O2 and O2 plus. Now coming to the bond strength. More the bond order, more is the bond strength. It means you can say more energy is required to break 2.5 bond order as compared to the 2 bond order. Right? So bond strength for O2 plus is more as compared to O2 and O2 is having more bond strength as compared to O2 minus. I didn't return only bond length and bond strength. I have written relative, right? So wh what does it mean and why I have written relative bond strength or bond length? Relative means in comparison to other because I am not giving you the actual value. Therefore, it is relative to the other one, right? So that is meaning over here. Now coming to the next, that is molecular orbital diagram for fluorine molecule. So if I write fluorine, so fluorine is having 9 electrons, its atomic number is 9. One fluorine is of this side and the other fluorine is of this side. So 9 electrons here, 9 electrons are here. So in total we are having 18 electrons. One more thing, this is more than 14 electron case. If it is more than 14 electron case, means the problem is big, therefore oxygen is special we need to follow this order s p p n so here you can see s p p stands for pi s stands for sigma s p p s so i hope you understand from the trick so now the next point is to fill the 18 electrons in these molecular orbitals so 18 electrons in this manner i have filled now writing the electronic configuration. So similarly we are writing its electronic configuration. So here you can see two electrons, two electrons and zero electron will be here. Right. So this is the electronic configuration. Next is calculation of bond order. So bond order is number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals. Where it is zero. Bonding molecular orbitals. So 10 electrons are there. Subtracting number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbital so i am having this count b1 so here we are having eight electrons now on subtraction i will get two by two and then one it suggests f is having f single bond f so its bond order is one now coming to the magnetic character so magnetic character it is having all electrons are paired therefore it is diamagnetic in nature so in this way you can calculate other diatomic molecules also. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.